but you're going to spill your beverages. Great. <laughs> Make a malt liquor video. What's going on? Howdy, y'all. It's Big Sid here, and I got some news for you. I called Old English. Yep. Yeah, it's it's Saturday fucking morning, but hey, you know, I called them, and they said Old English is back in glass. And I was like, well, when's it going to be available? And the guy said, well, it's being bottled right now. And there's, I don't know, 500 fucking pallets of the shit waiting to be fucking shipped off. We gotta sell out all the motherfucking plastic. Go fuck yourself, big fucking sin. Go fuck yourself, asshole. Who the fuck you think you're fucking talking to like that? Getting everybody's fucking feathers all fucking ruffled the fuck up. Nobody fucking believed you. Not in this malt liquor video. Not in this fucking malt liquor video. Everybody gave you a shout out. Everybody gave you a fucking thumbs up. And I was like, I don't know. I fucking believe it when I fucking see it. You guys see this here? <laughs> it's the end of the chocolate bottles, folks. Pallets on pallets, clear fucking glass, clear as back, assholes, clear as fucking back. Went to Habib's, walked straight up to the fucking cooler, and I'm not going to bullshit you, you guys. I'm not going to fucking bullshit you. There was clear fucking hurricanes and clear fucking king cobras, and I was like, oh, hey, look at that. But tonight when I went to Habib's, I just grabbed this fucking six dog of king cobras and 16 ounce cans because when I grabbed this one was back in fucking Thanksgiving over at my mother's house and the next fucking couple towns over. So go fuck yourself, thinking I was telling the truth. I big sitted your ass. I fucking big sitted the fuck out of you. Go fuck yourselves, assholes. Good God. Smack yourself if you really thought Coster was being fucking honest about shit being in clear glass again. Chocolate reigns supreme. Chocolate lives matter. Glass and only fucking glass. Go fuck yourself, clear glass. <laughs> now, there might be a chance that I'll save this fucking piece of shit relic. Pick up that cap. Differentiate it from all the other caps I've been fucking flicking all over the fucking place. Good yet. But, my collection of fucking clear glass I've been throwing straight in the fucking trash. I say, get that shit the fuck out of my fucking way. I ain't got enough room in the garage to be hoarding fucking clear fucking glass bottles. Ugh, they can go fuck themselves. <sighs> Did not Mac rib the tacos, folks. Even though it's carnitas. Whoa, trip. I mean, it's kind of the same, but this is my opinion. Way the fuck better. Good God, so much fucking taste here. For the cost of a Mac rib, you get yourself handmade tort, fucking crispy fried pork meat. That's fucking tasty. Oh, God. And that fucking chile that I just took a bite out of, Serrano fucking chili. Man. It's roasting, folks. It's 
fucking avocado salsa. Tis the fucking season. Red and green salsas, that is. Oh, man, I'm fucking X fucking sighted. You guys were all fucking thinking I was being honest and shit. I didn't fucking tell a lie. I just fucking set it up so that you fucking believe me, you stupid assholes. This thing has a fucking born on date of... See that? 43rd fucking day of the goddamn year. Do the math, folks. It tastes fresh as fuck. I don't have a fucking problem with it. According to the date, it's not as fresh as my other fucking malt liquors. So, you know, do the fucking math, there, so. I'm home. Fucking home. I'm feeling like having a Vietnam fucking flashback. Charlie in the bushes. Clear fucking King Cobra. Carnitas, tacos. <sighs> man, oh man. It's like... Fuck. Back in goddamn April. Because I'm pretty sure... I started discovering the brown bottles around May time. The Mayflower brought in the May fucking chocolates. So... It's feeling like earlier this fucking year, kind of before everything really got all fucked up with that COVID boo shit, even though it was already COVID time, but, you know, early 2020. Mm -hmm. I can't fucking remember the price exactly, but I got a good goddamn deal on this, not because of any fucking reason in particular, but I walked out of Habib's over in my mother's town, 30 fucking miles away. Paying like eight bucks fucking flat for three fucking forties. One fresh as fuck. I'm talking fresher than fuck. Mickey's. And I got a fucking hurricane high gravity clear clear glass. Stay tuned, assholes. And I got this. And I was thinking over at my own Habibs, you know, it's two fucking forties for like six something. That's why I get the six pack. Because that's two forties in a fucking can for five something. <laughs> Rugski. Hmm. Poaching a swill at his fucking first taco. If you guys don't eat this stuff, or you're just like, eh, I, don't, I can't do onions. Oh, I don't like cilantro. It's too fucking soapy. Then more for me, assholes. And more for me. And more for me. Go fuck yourselves. God damn. Son of a bitch. Lime juice for round two. You gotta salt that motherfucking taco or you just ain't doing it right. I'll see what I can do about showing you fucks. This is no Reek Gibb style taco from fucking Taco King over there in Indiana. <laughs> God. No, I swear to God, there's gotta be plenty of Mexicans over there in Indiana. Uh, I've seen him. I've been out there before. But Reed Gibb ain't going to the right fucking spot. 
Not to get the good stuff. I see the red and the green. It's there. Worry about it. Fucking worry about it. Shout out to Havana for eating that fucking Pocky One Chip Challenge. He fucking ate it all fast. Good God. He was like, Let me get some crumbs. I've had enough of those Pocky One Chippers. They ain't fucking, they ain't playing. But you're not supposed to drink or eat. You know, you're supposed to endure the, the heat. I'm not hating. I'm just saying, you know, when you do that. So it's a suffer fucking game. Man, oh man. The tears are fucking running. The sweat's fucking dripping. The nose is probably dribbling. And I told him in his comments, I get the fucking hiccups. It's not a fucking fun time. Good God. Shout out to 40 Ounce Fear. Throwing fucking grenades left and right on his day off. And you fucks over there having snow days. I don't think I'm gonna see any fucking snow over here this year. Supposedly, a number of years ago, when I wasn't living in the area, it fucking snowed out here. And I remember seeing a post from the local news kind of deal there was snow at the fucking beach i was like ah, who gives a fuck i mean whatever but now that i think of it that'd make an excellent fucking background for a malt liquor video shout out to joe's cole you bald-headed fuck wearing fucking glasses get a god four eyes chrome dome Riding your fucking skateboard. Riding your fucking snuff skate. I don't remember what the fuck you call that thing. But go fuck yourself, you fucking piece of shit. Happy holidays. Fuck out of here. Shout out to the Simpsons. I bought this fucking Simpsons holiday DVD a number of years ago. It's got a few holiday episodes on it, I think like four. Picked it up over at Target for like five bucks or some boo shit. He's got that episode where Homer decides to run his own Mr. Plow business, got his own jacket and whatnot. I know that Fear's getting a little tired of this YouTube boo shit, but I think it'd be pretty cool if, you know, he decided to get himself a Mr. Plow jacket to wear around the holidays when he's cruising that fucking fruit truck, making malt liquor videos, and uh, just being a good fucking Samaritan and member of the community. <sighs> Nobody likes a piece of shit like you, Paraglan. <laughs> good God, been run clean off the fucking internet. <clears throat> There's two things that could be happening to Paraglan right now. One is in some fucking hospital bed hooked up to an incubator. Basically wasting fucking space. Pull the fucking plug on that motherfucker. If he makes it, he makes it. If he does it, Get the fuck out of here. Watching malt liquor videos from heaven or hell, asshole. Or the purgatory. Wherever the fuck you're going to end up. Go fuck yourself. Or two. He's in a mental depression right now. He's just like. 
Stone ball? Is that you girls around here you listening? I just can't fucking do it. Can't can't cam up right now. I don't I don't even have any content. Your content is your fucking life, you fucking asshole. That's what's entertaining motherfuckers like me and the masses. You know? Go fuck yourself, basically, but ha. I couldn't, I don't know what's going on over there in Florida. I haven't been fucking updated from the pair of fucking Glenn. So I'm over here not really giving a fuck or worrying. But I'm like, if anybody brings up Florida in a conversation, I can't say, oh yeah, I know a guy over there and he said that it's fucking this. So go fuck yourself, asshole. Damn. You guys see that? Do you see that? Clear fucking bottle. Now I've heard time and time again from assholes. Oh fuck. I don't even want to mention too many of fucking names. There's this fucking one dude. He's a real fucking piece of shit. He was drinking his first fucking King Cobra a couple days ago, not too long ago. He's like, oh yeah. I can really taste it. It's so much fun. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Go fucking fuck yourself. Don't fucking jump on no fucking bandwagon of being like, eh, you know, it's fucking, it's different. I say one thing, one thing only. Fucking delicious, nutritious, fresh as fuck. And we approach the motherfucking swill, folks. You can see the swill on the fucking clear bottle. Now, I had the ref trying to throw a fucking flag on the field on me. And I kind of thought, you know what? I'll do a fucking 800 if I can go grab a couple more of these clear doggies. And then just make sure that there ain't no fucking potential flags. But I also thought, go fuck yourself, ass child. I ain't boo shitting. The only motherfucking boo shitting around here. Had everybody on the fucking line thinking that motherfucking old English was confirmed coming back in motherfucking glass. And I said one thing. You should run through my catalog and, f and watch that fucking malt liquor video. Because it was when I was doing Saucy Fucking Saturdays. Back to back, back to back, back to back with hot sauce. And a few barbecue sauces and a few other sauces, but mostly hot sauce, fucking picante king. And I said, I don't fucking believe it, folks. It's Saturday. I can't call and confirm. Seems like we've been getting boo shitted. So you guys can still fucking wait week by week, delivery after delivery, waiting for that fucking glass to show up. Prove me wrong, asshole. Prove me the fuck wrong. Good God. Prove me wrong, bitch. Taking a shot of some fucking King Cobra salsa. Shooters, folks. I fucking said it when I fucking made that video, and I'll say it again. I don't remember what the fuck I said, but... I'll fucking believe it when I fucking see it, asshole. Don't ever let some fucking piece of shit on the internet tell you what the fuck is going to be going on. Go fuck yourself. 100 days of Christmas. Zeroing in. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> Just under 20. Just under fucking 20. <laughs> 